Hey, what's up YouTube? RS Novice here with a Skyrim mod review. This one is on the Half Moon Home. This is my very first Skyrim mod review, so guys, don't be too harsh on me. Also, normally when you do a mod review, you do only the review, or you do the review strictly on the mod itself in its bare original state. You don't do anything to it. You just kind of let it sit as you will get it when you download the mod. But I've already been using this as kind of a player base. Uh, from my werewolf character, I've kind of moved all the companions into this little home. Even though it's a vampire type home, I've kind of, you know, made it into a werewolf hideout. So, let's go ahead and show you, first of all, on the map, where it's located. It will add this little uh, map marker here, right next to the Half Moon Hill, which is not very far away from Wide Run. Okay. So here's your first room. Just seems like a basic, small, cozy little home. Nothing out of the ordinary. I tend to store my pelts and whatnot in here. Over here I store my mostly dragon, but other loot rel related stuff. Okay, just seems like a cozy little home, but you see you have your, <coughs> your lair. When we go downstairs discover it's actually a nicer kind of home base. Um, for whatever reason the coffins are considered owned, I really don't understand why. Um, he probably should fix that. Just that way if you're a vampire you can sleep here. Um, you have a treasure chest here which I'm just using to store all my various different types of weapons and armor. You have a bookcase and you have your weapon rack which I use to store just a variety of different weapons. Okay. come down here you have your main hall which again is perfect if you are a werewolf uh, or a vampire type character like I said I'm using it for werewolves just cuz I happen to be a werewolf and I've moved my companions down here Farkas that's Lydia um, just Hello, my love. Farmer. back from some Filgus. adventure I bet you know what do you need it just makes friend? for a nice little home nice little base um, for whatever type of character you like to use. Come on down Azura's here. Azura's wisdom to you, friend. You have your, I guess, blacksmith room, your armory type deal. Although it's not really an armory. What I would like to see is some weapon racks put around here. Maybe some mannequins added in here. Remove some of these tanning racks since you don't really need so many. Just put some mannequins along here and put some weapon racks on the wall and it would be a perfect little armory. Upstairs you have your enchanting table and then you have your alchemy lab which you can store all your different ingredients into your alchemy chest you have several potions that come stock with it so it's a nice little you know like I said a nice little player home nice little base if you're a vampire type character it will fit right in with your um, playing style by the way I'm a little under the weather right now so I'm sorry if uh, you can't make out what I'm saying but I'm trying anyway. Alright, next I'm going to show you my favorite room in this entire mod. Um, now, I have cleared some of it originally. Uh, there were a bunch of dead vampire thralls and a few live vampire thralls. I've disabled each and every one of them for this purpose. I think it's pretty sick. Okay, you see you have your old torture room. There were a couple dead vampire thralls there. Bunch of bones over there, that's cool. What I've done is I've turned it into a prison. Okay. I put some spriggans in here. Put a tiger in there. A dragon priest and a skeleton over there. Vampire lord in here. All sorts of different lichen rogues. We have a snow devil. Oh, I'm getting a lag. Here we go. We got a snow devil, got a were bear, werewolf, and a were cat. So it makes for a cool little uh, prison type deal now. As a werewolf, you, since I'm playing as a werewolf, you might wonder why I have the lichen rogues caged up. Uh, I don't know, just for the fun of it. You could say they're untamed, can't control their inner beast, whatever. If you want to throw some more behind it, go right ahead. But I just thought it would be cool to have them in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go into the monster mod and take the files for a vampire priest and attach them onto a... Um, attach them onto a dragon priest and throw it in here with 
the vampire lore, just so I have some more vampire type stuff. Put some more undead in here, maybe some Draugr. Uh, maybe put some Saber Cats in here. And maybe a couple more Spriggans in here. But honestly, I love the mod. It's a cool, like I said, a very cool home base, very cool player home if you're a vampire or, in my case, werewolf type character. Um, I really do love it. It's The only thing I can say is add some mannequins and some weapon racks to the armory, or just add a whole new room onto the house to make it an armory. And this mod would be 100% perfect. Um, you know what? I have time. I'll show you one more mod. This is the. Uh, the Werewolf Lord Armor Mod. Alright. And essentially what it does is it adds Daedric Armor to the Werewolf. Now I'm also using the Unique Player Werewolf, so it doesn't change every werewolf in the game into this, which is what I recommend to you. But as you can see, it just adds a very cool a Daedric armor to your werewolf. So you're not the run of the mill average, you know, vanilla plain looking werewolf. So I'm a big fan of this as well, but if you download it, make sure you download the unique player werewolf. I'll put the links to every mod in the description down below. So yeah, that's my mod review of the Half Moon Home and the Werewolf Lord Armor, as well as the unique uh, player werewolf. If you saw something that you know for a fact was from a different mod and you want to know what it is, leave a comment down below, and I will try to tell you what it is if I know what it is. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this review, and take care. Peace.